These are the world's hardest riddles to test your brain, but can we get them right? One day, Alex went for a walk and didn't come back. What happened to Alex? Oh, guy. Oh, the police are involved. His parents called the police and reported him missing. Dun, dun, dun. Okay, then. Your young, promising detective took the case. I mean, he's got a moustache. He doesn't look that young, does he? But as long as he can help get Alex back, that's the main thing. His investigation brought him to an antique shop. Ooh, there's a bike outside. He immediately arrested the owner. What? The Wait, what's that floating behind him? Don't tell me he's drowned Alex. What the heck? Well, firstly, I did see a bike outside. Maybe Alex was on a red bike when he went missing that day. Secondly, I mean, the shop looks weird and he looks really weird, but... Look, I hate to tell the parents this. I think I am seeing Alex floating in some sort of water behind him, all right? That's sus, if you ask me. That is very sus. Yeah, look at him. No! Alex, what happened? But at least we were big brain to work out who killed him. Who is the spy? Ooh, we got five people here. Let's play close attention. One's got a little doggy. One's got a big cigar. Wait a second. Is anyone else seeing what I'm seeing? Did anyone see that? Am I going crazy? I swear there was someone in the window. Yep. Yeah. Bro, he just popped out of nowhere. That was a tough one. All right, I've got to pay attention to everyone everywhere now. Someone's playing card games on his PC. That's not working, mate. Oh, wait a second. That person's hacking. He's hacking away, mate. It's got to be him. If anyone's hacking at his desk, then that has to be the spy. Don't think anyone else could be doing it. Everyone else looks like they're just doing a normal job, to be fair. I think it's the hacker. Yes, it is. Please don't hack me, mate. Don't want to be hacked. None of us do, okay? Who's? Oh, my goodness. All right, this is a lot of people at a pool. Well, well I'm, I, bro, I think I'm seeing maybe two spies. Maybe multiple. There's someone in the tree in, like, some outfit. And then I just saw, a, like, a little antenna come out of the water. And then there's a spy in the background there as well. One, two, three spies I spotted. But did you manage to spot any more? Can you spot the mistake? Mm, I mean... We got lots of ooga booga people, old cave men and women. Maybe the metal bucket over the fire. I don't think they will have forged that yet. Yeah, yeah, there we go. They, they may be advanced, but not that advanced. Can you spot the mistake? Mm, have they got a brick wall inside their cave? I, I don't think they'd learn how to use cement or create bricks quite like that yet. Although they do look like they eat pretty well. Just saying, these guys are stuffing their faces. Let's go. All right. Big brain. We've got someone with a little stone axe in the background and a bone in her hair. We've got someone waving fire around. And wait a second. The person in the bottom right has got matchsticks. In making fire was that easy back then, I tell you. Not many of them would have died. <laughs> Can you spot the mistake? Well, there's a kid hanging off the meat. She's so hungry. Um, Wait a second, guys. People are drawing. People are making fire. She's using a mirror with lipstick. I don't think that was around back then, I'm afraid, women. Talking of women, one's being found dead. There's water everywhere. What the heck? I can't really tell she's dead. It looks like she's just sleeping. She's been lying on her bed. Oh, oh, oh. Time to get our detective hats on, people. There are no signs of a struggle. Hmm. Looks, literally looks like she just fell into bed. No marks on her body. Okay. I can... There's, like... The whole room looks wet, though. Hmm. Did she drown? Did she drink too much water before bed? Think, Ali. Think, Ali. What did she do? I reckon she may have flooded her apartment or something. Like, left the bath running. Whole, whole place flooded. She drowned. She fell asleep. Never woke up. Is that a good idea? Her water bed... Water bed blew up! Oh, my goodness! Well, I was right about the water... She drowned in it. Oh my goodness, mate. I'm never sleeping in a water bed ever again. Which mum is more stupid? Oh, well, that's not very nice, is it? Let's take a look. Well, there's one baby that is really, really hot. And one baby that's really, really sad because the baby's literally covered in water. Well, I mean, they're both pretty stupid. Surely you'd put the umbrella over both the babies. Uh, but yeah... The one that's hot, probably the worst. That baby needs cooling. You're in an open sea on a sinking raft. Oh my gosh, how do we end up there? That's not good, mate. At least we've got a telescope. Suddenly you see two islands. Let's go. You have enough strength to reach only one of them. 
However, you can see that ashore on the first island, okay, island number one, it's full of pirates with guns and swords. Oh, that ain't good, is it? Unless we can befriend the pirates, that ain't good. What about the other island? So far, I'm not liking the look of number one. The other shore, you see a tribe with bows and arrows. Oh my gosh. You don't know if they're going to be friendly or not. You don't know if either of them are going to be friendly or not. The pirates could be friendly. Which shore would you choose? Ladies and gentlemen, you know what? Just because I think pirates may be able to communicate with us rather than the natives on the other island. There's more chance that pirates can speak your language. Yes, let's go. Please, pirates, be my friend. That's what I'd say to them. Charlie's worst enemy? Charlie, what's going on here? Was a powerful magician. That is not a great person to have as an enemy. He kidnapped Charlie. Oh my gosh, poor guy. was just trying to go to work. Locked him on top of a high tower. Uh-oh. And only one window. And no doors at all. Okay, only one way to get out. Then the kidnapper set magic fire to the tower and left. Charlie realized he had little time to escape and looked around. Oh my goodness. Okay, three magic potions. This could be good. This could be good. The bottles were labeled. What have we got here? We've got number one, incredible physical strength. Ooh. Number two would turn him into a vampire. And the third one would let him summon any animal. Ooh! Kind of leaning towards maybe summoning a bird that we could jump on and fly out the window. But a vampire? Do they turn to bats at night? I don't think the strength will help us. I think I'm going to summon an animal and see if they can help me out. Even if he destroyed the tower, he could do nothing with the magic fire. Okay, so it's not the first one, guys. That's good. No animal. Bro, what about a bird? What about a big giant bird he can jump on? When he becomes a vampire, he'll be able to turn to a bat. I said that, didn't I? Oh, that's kind of right. Kind of right. All right, let's do it. Let's turn into a bat, mate, and get out of here. He's free. Who is the criminal? Oh, okay. Well, we have got kids eating pizza. Oh, that's making me hungry. We've got the waiter serving them, giving them some cake or something. Dude's getting a haircut. What, what the? Oh, my goodness. Pizza and haircut. Wait a second. The guy giving a haircut. He's got a gun in his pocket. Mate, imagine you turn around and saw your hairdresser with a gun. Who's the criminal? Hmm. Pizza boy. Person that's got the pizza being delivered ain't very happy. Woman getting flowers. And oh my gosh, the man giving it to her has got a knife in his back pocket. Run, woman. Don't take the flowers. Actually, maybe take the flowers, keep them happy, and then get out of there. Whew, that was a close one. You're being chased by werewolves. Oh! Is that happening? That's not good. You see a house and hide there. Whew. Thank goodness, a safe haven. Oh my goodness, the werewolves are scary. They can't come in and stay waiting outside for you. What? <gasps> three doors. Okay, focus up. There are three tunnels leading out of the house. Which one? We've got to pick the right one here, guys. However, there's a trap in each tunnel. I can see that. That's not good. Fire? I'm never going through that one. That's just going to burn me. Where is it? The walls that will crush you? Eh? Maybe I could time it and get out of that one? The floor that will collapse under your feet. Can you run really quickly, maybe? And get through that one? What would you do to survive? Oh my gosh, it's all awful! Hmm. I reckon maybe run through the middle one and hope it doesn't crush me. Let's see what what do they oh 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 wait 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 now you're joking me you're joking me you're joking it's a trick question waiting till the werewolves turn into humans in the morning oh my gosh i thought all of those were too hard let's go on a treasure hunt instead shall we leela loved riddles and all her friends knew it it's her birthday it's my birthday the time recording this video it was leah's birthday so mine's a completely different date but we're still birthday buddies her friends prepared an awesome surprise for her. Okay. What's going to be in the awesome surprise? They came to a house while Leela was still asleep. What? They break into a house? That's kind of creepy. I wonder what the present's going to be. And, her, and hid her present somewhere in the house. Okay. Leela's fast asleep. Dreaming of all the gifts she's going to be getting. When Leela woke up. Ooh, slippers ready to go. Her friends gave her a clue. Okay. Flower chair um and then it is coffee machine like like boiling water thing beans pillow okay gotta remember that gotta remember that 
I think I got it. I think I got it. I think I got it. And immediately started looking around the house. Okay, start with the flowers, Leela. Start with the flowers. Flowers. Okay, so let's start here. This is fun. Flowers across chair down. Uh, kettle left. Beans down. Is it behind the pillow? Is it behind one of these pillows? I think it's this pillow. Yes, 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 yes. Come on, come on, come on. Land on the pillow. Land on the pillow. Wait, is it down from there? Whoa, it's in the back of the car. It's even further. She'll find her present over here. Let's go. Better be a sick present. What's wrong here? Oh, we've got a nice little Batman backpack. Looks like he's late for class, though, unfortunately. Wait, wait, wait. How's he meant to get into the room when the hinges and the door handle are on the same side? I wonder who's late for class. Yeah, what's going on there? The door's pretty much impossible to open. What the heck? All right, don't worry, mate. You may get detention, but that door's stupid. What's wrong here? Hmm. Is the train and the wall all messed up? No door. Oh, wait, 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 wait. I was about to say, like, what is this going on here? There's no doors to get into that other train. The impossible train door. Okay, a lot of doors going on here. Ooh, Venisa. Been here, really nice place. What's wrong? Um, the whole place is flooded. There's nowhere that's ground. Gondolas have no sails. Oh yeah. Okay. Sometimes Venice does flood, but I didn't think it would flood that much. <laughs> Sometimes you've got to look, look at the obvious thing, people, and it's right in front of your eyes. No sails. Of course it's not. Who is the maniac? What? Who's a maniac? Is this kids playing in the park? We've got ourselves... Whoa, 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 whoa! Who's this weirdo selling ice cream, mate? Five cents or kiss? No, get him out of there. You're banned, mate. You are never going in a play park again. Who's the maniac? Ooh, pay attention. Panning across. Lots of people, lots of people, lots of people. Got baby being walked. Runners. We've got ourselves... What the heck? This person getting run over by every bike that goes on top of her. What else we got? Oh, whoa, whoa, wait, 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 wait. Who's that behind the tree? I spotted it just in time. It was close, but your boy got it. Who is the maniac? Is someone pouring wine? Nothing weird going on here. Everyone having a nice little drink. Chatting away. Wait a second. Wait a second. What's this in his glass? He's eating an eyeball. Who served him that? And who asked for an eyeball in their drink? Ooh, nice little house. Ted was going to propose to Lauren. Congratulations. He booked a table in a restaurant. He's got the ring. Oh, expensive as well. Nice one, man. He put it on a drawer in his office at home and went to work. When he was back, the ring was gone. Bruh. Bruh. He questioned everyone who was at home that day. Why did you put it up there? Anna, I didn't enter your office, but John and Tim did. Who are these guys? John was on the veranda, and through the window I saw that Tim went into your office, and he noticed something on the drawer and took it. Hmm. Then I went into your office to check the drawer, but there was nothing. How did he know all of these things? How did he know it was on the drawer? I'm sorry, I went into your office. I didn't take anything, I just played under the table. Mate, he's way too small to, to get it. But look how high up it was. It was definitely John, mate. I don't know what John's doing, sleeping in the house, stealing rings, but that lazy, no good so and so definitely was the one that took the ring. He's trying to blame it on a kid, mate. What are you thinking about? Get John out of there. He's definitely the one that did it. Yeah. Tim couldn't even know to. Exactly. We're really good detectives now, people. Our brains are locked in. There were several thefts in the supermarket in May. What the hey? Who's that woman in the background? I noticed her. Staff couldn't figure out who it was. Uh-oh. What about the cameras? Look at the cameras, people. They'll give you the answer, surely. Here we go. CCTV. What's going on, eh? Got to pay attention. Soon they identified a suspicious person. Hmm. Okay. Who have we got here? Made a... Wait, 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 wait. Wait, 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 wait. wait. Ladies and gentlemen. That woman's going from being pregnant to not being pregnant to having brown hair to having blonde hair. Who's suspicious? Take a look at this. As soon as I saw that. We've seen all of those YouTube videos where people pretend to be pregnant and sneak sweets into cinemas. Well, look. Same woman. Different hair. 
Same shoes. You can't just change your hair and not your outfit, but they're going to catch you out. We know it was you hiding all the food under your top. That's fake. Guys, that was so much fun. Click on screen here to watch even more riddles. They're even harder. So quickly click it. I'll see you over there.